Today's video lesson is about IELTS speaking part 1 with the topic, a person's age. Together, let's answer the questions about age strategically. Also, I'd like to help you improve your vocabulary by learning collocations after we finish answering all the questions. Welcome to IELTS Dragon. This is where you get sample answers, ideas, and tips on how to answer different questions asked in the IELTS speaking exam. This is prepared by Iban9 Achiever. Show your support by subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much. Now, let's begin answering the questions. First question. Are you happy to be the age you are now? First answer. Yes, definitely. Life's a gift to be celebrated. Year after year, I've learned so much in life. Those valuable life lessons have helped me mature. Honestly, I don't care so much about my age. I'm just being happy to continue to exist in this world and to continue to live with purpose. Second answer. I must say yes and no. First, I'm glad that I've reached this amazing chapter of my life because I've gotten so many opportunities in life. I obtained my bachelor's degree and secured a better job that helps me live comfortably. However, recently I felt a bit sad knowing that I'm not getting any younger, which simply means I have to deal with more responsibilities in my everyday life and that sometimes it scares me. Next question. How do you feel about getting older? First answer. Like I said, I'm not bothered at all. I just want to live my life happily and do something meaningful to others and more importantly to myself. Not everyone gets to experience a longer life like the golden age enjoys. Some don't get a chance to reach in their 20s or 30s. So while I'm still alive, I've got to make the most of my existence and not to worry about getting older at all. Second answer. It's funny I've just talked about my feelings of getting older earlier. So let me say it again. I'm kind of sad to get older, but there's nothing I can do about it. Year after year, I turn a bit older, my physical appearance and my perspective on life change, but I consider those things as a blessing, and that way of thinking helps me feel grateful for the life that I have. Next question. When do you think is the best age for people to learn driving? First answer. Well, learning from my personal experience, I started in my late 20s and I did struggle a lot, especially on learning how to park. I don't know, maybe I couldn't easily absorb what my instructor had taught me. So I believe the younger the better. I just think that when a person starts at a young age, he can learn quickly than those who start light. Another way to answer that question, I believe when one turns 16 years old, the earlier the better, or else if one starts later, it'll take so much time for him to learn. As we know, when a person gets older, he has so many things to do, as a result, he cannot concentrate on learning, and that will surely eat his time up. Another question. Do you think you have changed as you've got older? Of course, that's pretty normal. Some notable changes include my physical appearance. I was thin in the past, but recently I've put in some weight. I used to love having long hair, but as I get older, I prefer having short hair because it's more convenient that I don't need to spend a lot on hair care products. Also, my way of thinking has changed. I wasn't concerned about saving before, but now I make it a priority. Well, those are just a few changes of the many changes I've had. Next question. Should we treat people of different ages equally? First answer. Definitely. We're all humans. We should treat everyone with kindness and respect, regardless of age. We should always remember the golden rule. Don't do unto others what you don't want done unto you. If we practice that rule, then for sure, the world will be a better place. Second answer. Realistically, there is a certain difference between the way we treat children and the way we treat the elderly. Since children are innocent, that is not having much knowledge about life, we adults should provide guidance with respect and act as role models to all of them. As for the elderly, we have to show our utmost respect and be more patient and understanding to all of them. 
Not to mention, we need to listen to their pieces of advice that they generously share with us as those are precious. As promised, let me share some phrases about age that you can use when composing your answers. First, somebody's own age. It means to be as old as someone. For example, he needs to find someone of his own age to play with. Second, the age of consent. It simply means the age at which someone becomes legally competent. For example, I think the governments should repeal the age of consent law from 16 to 18. Another one, years of age. It simply means refers to someone's age. Example, I was only 18 years of age when I started traveling by myself. Next, we have adjective plus age. First, early age. He became an orphan at an early age. Next, advanced or old age. She started her own business at an advanced age. And voting age. What's the voting age in your country? Using any of these expressions can surely help you improve your score and it makes you sound like native. So make sure to use some collocations in your answers. If you find value to this channel, show your support by subscribing or liking this video. Don't forget to watch other videos that appear in your screen right now, as they can surely help you prepare for the exam. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next lesson, have a lovely day.